Okay, so this video is going to discuss um, the console window um, that you can use uh, to get more information on error messages than you can get from the GUI. Now, if you have an error in a program, <coughs> you'll generally get uh, an error message here, and it might also generate error messages here. Um, and let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So this program, I'll go ahead and just compile it now, very simple Hello World program. I'm building and I'm looking in the console, and this is, this is what the console looks like. And in this particular case, we can see that if we look at this line, um, it's calling the compiler. It's a G++ compiler, but we're still only writing C code in this class. And we can see that it compiled it, and then what it did is it took all of the other files that are necessary for this that have been previously compiled, that's what the .o means, and links them together to create a, a final executable, and then it even tells you some size statistics about that. All right, so let's go ahead and create an error. Now, the error I'm going to create um, is, let's just do something simple like, let's, let's, let's say, say print instead of printf. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and we're going to get an error. And the error says that, hey, I don't know what print is. Um, okay, that's fine. And we see that when that happens, we get an error here. And if we were to go down and find the actual file, that's where it is. Okay but it's enough that it's at the project level. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that error, and we're going to save and compile. I have automatic compilation on right now, and you'll see that the error has cleared out. It's no longer shown there. Now let's do a little more complicated error. Now you know that any C program has to have a single main function. Can't have, can't have zero of them, you always have to have one, and you can't have multiple ones. <clears throat> And some of the previous videos that I've given you have talked about how to make sure that you can exclude certain files so that when you compile your project, you don't get errors. But one problem that people seem to be having is, is due to a, a bug in Eclipse, and I'll show you what that is. So I've just changed main so that it says a main. So it's just changing the name, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and compile that. Now, we get an error message now that says undefined reference to main. And then you'll notice that we also get two errors, one in the main project and one in VSP or the board support package. Now this one's pretty obvious um, because of that, but the, the error that's in the board support package is a little less uh, clear. You have to go way down and, and you can find the file, and I imagine many of you have done that, and open it and go down to the error. Now, this is assembly code, um, low-level code for the, the, the ARM processor, and, and here is where it's branching or jumping to main. There's no main, so that's why that error is there. Okay, So that explains why you see that particular error. Now, the problem is, is let's go ahead and fix the problem by fixing the name of main so it's back to main. So instead of a main, now it says main, and we'll save it. Now if you look in the console window, that's a, this window here, you'll see that there are no errors, right? Before, when we had this and we compiled it, there was an error. We can see that because it'll go ahead and it will uh, essentially highlight it in red, um, and then you can also read the error message. But again, if I uh, fix that so that main is properly spelled, then I'll see that this compiles okay. It compiled the file, and then it linked everything together, and everything worked. The problem is, is that when this happened, it didn't eliminate the error here. And in fact, if you look at the problems window, it still shows that there's errors here. Here's the thing to remember. You can trust the console. Um, the console is the actual command line uh, compiler uh, functions that are being called and executed. And so you're, you're okay with that. And so if there's no error in the console window, there's no error in your compilation. And you can go ahead and download it and run. But of course, if you were looking here, you'd say, look, I did everything I was supposed to, and I still didn't clear the error. An error on the board support package like this means that an error has occurred. But it may have occurred in the last minute. It may have occurred an hour ago. It may have occurred a week ago. The only way to get rid of this is to um, go up to project, hit clean, and then come over here and say, I'm going to clean the board support package. So I'm just cleaning the project selected below, and I'm cleaning the board support package. So hit OK on that. And this is going to run a lot faster on my, my machine than it does yours. Um, let 
Just let it finish. Okay, finished the board support package, and now it's recompiling all the support files and things that are in this project. And you'll notice that, again, no errors in the console window, but moreover, there's no error flag here. <clears throat> so, the takeaway from this is that you should always look in the console window when you get errors. The error messages tend to have more detail in them, and they can be more helpful in trying to figure out what the problem is. In general, don't pay too much attention to the red little arrow X's that show up here. If they show up on your main project, you can pretty much guarantee that you have an error in your system and you need to fix it. If you're not getting any errors here, but there's still an error here, um, you can either ignore it, most of the time you can ignore it, or if it makes you feel better, you can go over and hit project, do the clean, and then just click on the board support package to do the, uh, the uh, compile. So, just this particular bug in, in Eclipse is, I think, what's causing people to feel like they're always having to rebuild their workspace and sometimes things come and sometimes things go and sometimes things magically go away because whether or not you get an error here largely depends on the order that you perform the operations in. So um, just remember to always review your errors in the console window. Again, here's how you get to the console. Um, you can't, you know, if you're sure that the stuff in the console is from the, the most recent compile, um, then that's okay. But I'd still, re I think you're better off relying on the console window to try and understand what the errors are. I don't have a workaround for this. I have to admit, I've largely learned to ignore it over the years because I always use the console window and not these other windows for determining errors. And that's probably why I wasn't quite sure where your problem came from. So, there's some more information about the uh, DesignLinks SDK.